Hello, in this video we're going to install Desktop GARP version 1.1.3 with the rule set and rule application version. So this is a older version of GARP uh, that allows you to develop the rule set, actually write out a text file of all the rules used to create the presence absence predictions in a GARP experiment. And it will also write out a rule map which tells you how each of those rules in each rule set are distributed across the landscape. In order to install this, uh, we're going to have to do a couple of things. Uh, first, we're going to have to install the software. Second, we're going to have to move some files around in the application folder so that we can launch this specific version of 1.13. And we need to make sure that uh, ArcView 3.3 is installed. There's a previous video available for that. If you haven't done that already, uh, walk through that uh, video. Um, if you have installed it, you should be able to launch it, make sure it works properly, uh, which is what I've done here. So I have uh, ArcView 3.3 installed. That's the first step. Uh, in order to allow desktop GARP to write out Esri grids, which will make your post-processing life much easier, particularly if you're using the uh, R tools that the SEER lab has developed here at University of Florida. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, I've shared with you, or you'll have the desktop GARP set up 1.103. We're going to launch that. You'll have to have administrative privileges on your machine. It will walk you through a traditional desktop GARP installation. This will look very similar to if you were to download and install version 1.16, the most recent version at the University of Kansas. So this process is very straightforward. Okay. And it says that we've successfully installed desktop GARP. If I do a quick search, you can see I have the application here. <clears throat> now the issue with this is we've only installed the uh, version 1.13 and we have not yet executed the uh, rule set and rule application. So if you notice here in the download folder, I'm going to copy the desktop GARP rule set and rule set application implementation. Just did that again. We're going to need to go directly on the C drive, program files x86, desktop GARP, and we're going to paste that file. Uh, oh, we're going to paste that file onto my desktop. I'm going to then move that into the C drive. Uh, this implementation in Windows 10 does not allow me to move from a server directly to my C drive in any of the operating system folders. Okay, so if you notice now, I have Dataset Manager, Desktop GARP, Desktop GARP Rule Set, and Rule Application. For this implementation to work, I'm simply going to delete the Desktop GARP implementation that does not include the Rule Set, and then I'm going to rename Desktop GARP underscore Rule Set to just Desktop GARP. Okay. Uh, desktop GARP requires uh, two different operations and the pre-processing steps you use the dataset manager and to execute the model you'll need this desktop GARP implementation. Now if we launch desktop GARP and we go under help uh, whoops if we go under the about you can see we have the special version here, rule set output to rule sets.txt. That will write out a text document of each individual rule set, which is the set of 50 rules developed in each individual model inside of a single experiment. So executing GARP one time will run an experiment of a number of models defined by the user. Here I'm pointing at where it says runs 20, a default uh, GARP run will run 20 runs. Traditionally, in our lab, we run 200. So that'll give you that rule set of those models and each individual rule within each, ex each model in that experiment. And then it says application of rules turned on. 
This is an additional step inside of Desktop Carp where it'll produce a raster file that tells you which individual rule is assigned to each individual pixel on your landscape. So a traditional Desktop Carp output is an Esri grid file of value 0 for absence and 1 for presence. This application will still develop that output the presence absence map, but it will also develop a map of the distribution of rules on the landscape so you can see which individual rules are being used to describe presence on the landscape. And then uh, we have other tools we'll show you in another video where you can harvest those through a series of Python scripts that we have. Okay, so our installation is complete, but if you notice here, uh, we are unable to write outputs of arc info grids. So we have one additional step that we have to do. Notice that a moment ago when I launched help from Desktop Garp, so either went to help and contents or I already had the website open, uh, this takes us to the online user's manual. Okay. Inside of the user's manual, I'm going to hit control F and I'm going to search for C colon uh, slash and the second of four uh, calls for this in the search menu comes up with this bold blue line here that says C Esri AVGIS 30 ArcView bin 32. We're going to copy that string. Then we're going to come over here to our computer, select properties select advanced system settings environmental variables under path I've double clicked selected new and I'm going to paste that string what this is doing is indicating an environmental variable path so that desktop GARP knows where to go and look for the uh, spatial IO file the input output file so that it can borrow from ArcView 3 Spatial Analyst the tools necessary to write out Esri grids. I will note, if you do not have administrative privileges, you cannot do this. If you are not comfortable uh, this far into the administrative privileges of your machine, have your IT department do this. Okay, so that is complete. I'm going to close and relaunch desktop GARP. I'm going to go ahead and pin this to my taskbar so I don't have to search for it anymore. Now you'll notice I can turn on Arc Info Grids and I'm turning off Bitmap and ASCII. This would be sort of the normal course of populating uh, a model with data and parameter settings is to write out only the Arc Info Grids. So there's how you install Desktop GARP. There's how you make the 1.13 rule set and rule writing applications active. And now you can perform GARP ecological niche modeling experiments, and there'll be additional videos on how to do that on the website. Good luck.